Judo can be used for many things. So we're going to demonstrate more of the traditional judo moves. We are a member of the United States Judo, uh, USA Judo, which is the uh, U.S. affiliate for the Olympics. We're also a proud member of the United States Judo Federation. And I'm very happy today that we're being helped out by our good friends at Martin's Martial Arts, uh, Sensei Claudio, Sensei Carol, Julia. And who is this man here? Say your name. Say it. Pedro. All right. Who is he? That's Pedro. That's right. <laughs> All right. I also want, she's sitting over in the corner, but Sensei Betty Sam is with us. She was one of my teachers. She's a sixth degree black belt, one of the highest ranking women in the U.S. She was on the women's first international judo, U.S. judo team. She was an Olympic team manager. So we're very grateful, as always, for her support and her continued guidance. Okay? Oh, I also want to give a shout out for one thing. This is a non-profit organization in Japan called Judo S. It was founded by Kosei Inoue, who is one of the uh, former national coaches, Olympian gold medalist, world champion. And what we try to do is use Judo to help make world peace by bridging, using Judo as a sport to meet people all over the world and get to know each other. Thank you. First, we're going to demonstrate ukimi, which is the art of falling. Ready? Go! Go! Very good. Next, my mawari ukimi. My mawari ukimi. Alex and Walter. Very good. One more time. Very good. So the ukemi helps you protect yourself when you're being thrown. All right, we're going to begin with tachiwaza. Tachiwaza, which are throwing techniques. We're going to start with a section of, called ashiwaza, which are throws that involve mostly the leg. The first one will be okuriashi harai, which is sliding foot sweep. Uh, well, The next technique will be Oichigari, demonstrated by Joe and Alex. <laughs> this is an inner reap. The next technique will be Uchimata. Alex will be throwing Joe. Uchimata is an inner thigh throw. Very well done. The last technique will be Osotagari. It will be Sensei Claudio and Sensei Carol. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Sensei. We're now going to move to Tewaza, hand techniques. First technique will be Ippon Seonagi. We'll be having Sensei Mike Fujimoto. We'll be demonstrating with Alex. This is Hidari Ippon Seonagi, left sided Ippon Seonagi. Beautifully executed. The next technique will be Tayotoshi. Tayotoshi. Alex will be demonstrating. Rico will be his uke. Very good. Tayotoshi means body drop. The next one will be Kata Guruma. Joe and Alex. 
Kadagaruma is a fireman's carry. So everybody who's seen this technique is used in wrestling, John Wick movies, everything, right? Okay. The next technique technique will be moro Morotegari? Will be Morotegari. Double leg grab. <laughs> He's being very nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're now moving to Koshiwaza, hip techniques. First technique will be Ogoshi. Alex will be demonstrating with Walter. Excellent. The next he's gonna use this same technique as a counter. When Walter tries to throw him, he will counter with this technique. Excellent, very good. The next technique is Harayagoshi. Walter, who do you want for your partner? There you go. Harayagoshi is sweeping loin. Nicely done, thank you Walter. The next technique will be Sode Surikomigoshi, lifting sleeve lapel throw. Alex will be getting his turn to throw this time. Excellent. This is a very popular throw in modern competition. The next throw will be Ushiro Goshi, which is a counter. It's a re reverse hip throw. Joe? Yep. And again, he's being very nice. All right. The next techniques will be Sutemiwaza, will be sacrifice techniques. So, Alex? <laughs> the next technique will be Yoko Tomoenagi, Mike Fujimoto, Sensei, and Alex. Last year I was almost thrown off the stage with this technique. <laughs> Excellent, well, well done. Next will be Kataguruma. Kataguruma Sutemi. Rico and Joe. Thank you, gentlemen. This is another really popular throw right now. The next technique will be Tani Otoshi, Valley Drop, demonstrated by Sensei Claudio and whoever you want. <laughs> Congratulations, Tom. Alex is getting his work today. Beautiful, Sensei, thank you. Tani Otoshi means Valley Drop. Next, we're gonna go into basic Neiwaza. Neiwaza is groundwork. So we're going to start with basic pins. So John, Alex, he's going to pin you. Alex is going to pin John with Kesigatami, basic pin. When John starts resisting, he changes the pin accordingly. Mate, excellent. Next one, John's going to pin Alex, and Alex is going to escape. Very nice. Now we're going to show th two turnovers to get into the pins. So Danny and Danny and Walter and John and Alan. Guys, you come over here. Yeah. You do it first. Let them do it first. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hands and knees. Hands and knees. 
he's grabbing the lapel and he's going to run under and duck underneath him and end up in a pinning situation. Okay? Now Don and Alan say. Excellent. Okay. Next one. This would just, just be Danny and Walter. Another turnover when the person is what we call in a turtle position. Excellent. Thank you, guys. The next techniques we'll do are a series of chokes, which I'm going to show standing because on the ground it may be a little difficult for you guys to see. But understand these techniques can be used on the ground as well. Next one are Kansetsu Waza, arm locking techniques, joint locking techniques. We're going to show some more advanced techniques. So first up will be Sensei Carol doing Taiyotsu or Sayonagi? Sayonagi into Jujigatami. Shoulder throw into an arm bar. If it, if it looks like she's being a little mean, that's because it's her husband she's doing it to. <laughs> Next one will be Yoko Tomonagi, the one Sensei Michael showed beautifully before. Faint it into a Jujigatami, into an arm bar. Joe and Alex. And go ahead. So as the guy goes for double legs, he counters this way and then finishes with an arm bar. The next one will be a Sutimi Kataguruma finishing up into a pin. Rico? And go ahead. Very good, gentlemen. The next one will be a using a choke as a counter to someone trying to do a drop shoulder throw. Very nice. And the last one, which Alex is going to be very thankful for, we're going to do a little self-defense, but last proper judo technique. Alex is going to try to do what's very common you see in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, jumping guard, and Sensei <coughs> Claudio, who is a fifth degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, as well as a black belt in Judo, will show you defense. Excellent. Thank you, Sensei. We're going to just do two quick self-defense techniques. So the first one will be against a wrist grab, and one of our newest students, Heather, will be demonstrating with me. Hey. Hey. 
She's only been doing it for six weeks. I think she did really great. Let's give her a round of applause. So once again, we are Metro Orlando Judo Kai. We appreciate your time and your attention today. I want to thank my my students and other instructors. Thank you so much. And we want to thank you again for your attention. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you so much. That looks fantastic. Now I want to learn judo for the self-defense.